Data is everywhere, but you already know that. But do you know who's responsible for all of this data? Well, it's the data engineer. There are lots of roles like the data analyst, data scientist, and machine learning engineer that use data. But for them to be able to use this data and actually make it useful, somebody needs to build a system to collect and store it. And that is where a data engineer comes in. The thing is that it kind of works like a pyramid. The data engineer lays the foundation, and if the foundation isn't good, the entire thing is going to collapse. Now, hopefully the data engineer of your company is as good as the ones that build the pyramids because they've been around quite a while. So what are the key responsibilities of data engineers? Well, the first thing is data collection. And this basically means that data engineers will create pipelines to store data from various sources. It could be a company database, the data might be available somewhere else, but the purpose here is to get it all into one place where we can really understand it and store it more properly and actually make it useful. And that brings us on to the second part, which is data storage. It is really important that data is stored securely and in a manner that makes it accessible for other people in the organization that want to use this data, for example, to make important decisions and conclusions. Now we can't always store and use the data right away, so we may have to transform this data. And this is also a key responsibility of data engineers. They may clean and transform the raw format into a format that can actually be made useful for the company. It is also all about data availability, and you want the data to be available to data scientists and to analysts and machine learning engineers for whatever you need it for. Now, let's talk about the skills and tools that you'll actually need to become a data engineer. Some of the key tools that you should know are SQL or SQL, used for managing databases, more specifically relational databases, and in general, a strong understanding of database systems and different forms of architecture. It is also helpful to be strong in a programming language like Python, which is widely used as well. Now, one thing that's becoming more and more important in data engineering is the use of cloud, as it's becoming more popular in companies in general. Large data sets are the new deal and therefore we need to know how to deal with them. For that reason it's great to know a cloud solution, for example AWS or Google Cloud Platform or Microsoft Azure. The most popular ones are AWS and Microsoft Azure, but there are also a lot of other good alternatives and some of the other tools commonly used are Apache Hadoop for processing large data sets and also Spark for data processing. I recommend this website where you can actually see the skills that our employers are looking for directly on the site and the data is scraped directly from real job listings so that you actually know what they're looking for on the real job market, not just what some random guy on YouTube is telling you, although I do try to base my opinions on real data. Now, how do you break into data engineering? Well, there are of course many, many ways, just like with any job, and it depends on your prior experience or education or lack of education. Many data engineers will have a bachelor's degree, at least in, for example, computer science or a related field, but also other degrees like a master's can be pretty common as well. Some people go directly into data engineering, whereas other people go from another data role or some other technical role and then transition into data engineering. This might also be a better option if you don't have a strong educational background or a you know, solid degree, as it can be quite difficult to get your first job without a degree in data engineering if you're starting out. All in all, I think data engineering is a very exciting field and it's only going to grow in the future. And I wish you all the best starting your career in data engineering, or perhaps you're more interested in data science or data analytics. Thanks for watching this video. Please drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And also somewhere on the screen here, there should be another video that I think you might be interested in, or at least the YouTube algorithm thinks so. So check it out somewhere over here.